Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into something a little different than normal. We are getting into cigars and whiskey. Before we get in today's video, as always, please do me the favor, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a ton and we appreciate that support. But let's get into that video today. What are we talking about? We're talking about cigars. This is a very different topic than what we typically talk about because we more so talk about whiskey. And I mean, I guess we are talking about whiskey, but we're talking about whiskey con cigars. So I'm not super qualified to talk on behalf of cigars in any way, shape, or form. I basically just occasionally smoke a cigar every once in a while. I know what I like. I know I like like the darker wrappers on the outside. I like a V cut. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Like I'm not the biggest cigar nerd. That being said, do you know what goes really well with cigars? Whiskey. And you know what I'm a huge nerd of? whiskey heck yeah so today i'm going over a list of five bourbons that go well with almost any cigar i smoke and i don't know if this is inherently going to be a hey this goes good with every cigar type list just because like i have my likes i have my types of cigars i've enjoyed and what i notice to be honest i don't know what to call them i just know kind of what i gravitate towards in the world of cigars so in my world of cigars these are five bourbons that go really well with almost any cigar i pick up and you know these are my go-to's for friday night cigars and to kick it off with one You've seen me talk about a shitload recently, but it's more of an ambiguous. It's an ambiguous bottle just because it's MGP, Bell Mead Reserve Bourbon. So this category or this bottle is basically just a whole brand in this case, MGP blends anything that's a really good mgp bend mgp single barrel something of that nature like i got two jepson's uh single barrels down there go freaking well with a cigar this stuff goes well with a cigar um smoke wagon goes well with a cigar just really good mgp blends mgp has a lighter profile it's very sweet not overly spicy and i think it pairs really well with the cigar because it lets the cigar show you what it truly is like you know the sh the cigar takes the forefront where this kind of takes the background and just you know goes in really nicely and then up next after mgp we're getting into real bottles so real bottles that i truly love so woodford reserve double oak this is not my go-to double oaked bottle. I'm a 1910 guy. I haven't had the Elijah Craig toasted barrel, but I'm sure I would love that one more than this one just because I'm an Elijah Craig fan. So why is this my go-to? Because unlike all the other toasted barrels where they're more toasty and kind of like marshmallowy, this one's a caramel bomb. This is viscous caramel that viscosity goes super well with smoking a cigar and the caramel bomb that this thing is just oh my god it just turns everything into just sweet caramel 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 all that jazz like smoking a darker cigar which are the ones i kind of gravitate towards this just makes everything just creamy caramel smooth completely enjoyable so that hands down out of all the toasted like products I've had, Woodford Reserve Double Oak 
best with the cigar, according to me. You know, I can only speak on behalf of myself. And then kind of along the same lines of like something that goes well with a cigar because it kind of shows a cigar or enhances a cigar more or less. Like it's, it's bringing the cigar to the forefront instead of the whiskey overpowering the cigar. Like peat, you can't have peat with a cigar. I mean, most cigars, because usually the peat just blows out the cigar. Or at least that's been my um, case scenario. So I like lighter bourbons more often than not. And this one, Four Roses Single Barrel goes super well because it does the same exact thing as the previous two, except for it adds more of like a floral note, which I think floral and tobacco goes really well together because they're both kind of like herbal in a way. They're both like leafy, herbal, kind of like earthy tones. And I think those flavor profiles match together really, really well. And this is a really good, slightly spicy, slightly herbal bourbon. Like it's, but it's not overly spicy where it's gonna overshadow the cigar and take over. It's a hundred proof. So you can have a few drinks when you're outside smoking a cigar. It's just fantastic. Any which way, this is by far out of everything on this list. This is my numero uno go-to for smoking a cigar with. I don't know why I'm not the best at pairing stuff, full disclosure, but this, it just, it matches well with almost every cigar I have, almost. And then coming up next, my beloved, my favorite bottle on this list of just like whiskey itself, Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. And I know, yes, 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 yes. I know I've been talking about, hey, don't overshadow the cigar. Why'd you just pick a super like aggressive, punchy barrel proof? Because well, bourbon is sweet overall. So you don't, you can't really overpower a cigar too much. And this one, it pairs really well. So Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, I usually get an insane amount of like peanut butter and chocolate. I always call it like my bougie Reese's peanut butter cup. It's viscous, it's just freaking fabulous. I can go on and talk about how amazing Elijah Craig is, but the reason I think it pairs really well with the cigar is because one, I gravitate towards kind of darker cigars. So the darker like flavor profiles, it kind of meets the cigar there. So it's more where the previous three I was talking about, it's kind of allowing the you know cigar to take the forefront, be the main primary action. This one, it kind of meets the cigar at that level and it just doesn't battle it out aggressively where it's like do dominating the flavor out any which way. It just kind of adds like a nice like bougie peanut butter cup to the whole experience and it's fan freaking tastic. And along the same lines, my next and final one, Russell's Reserve Single Barrels. Picks, not picks, doesn't matter. Picks are better, obviously. I mean, maybe not obviously. I mean, it guess it depends on who does the pick, but the non-picks are a little bit nuttier usually. The picks are usually a little bit sweeter, a little bit cherry forward, or a little bit more cherry forward. But this is wild turkey juice all the way. It's kind of nutty, cinnamon, apples, cherries. It's just, this is the most traditional bourbon I know of. Wild Turkey is such a traditional bourbon flavor profile and these Russell's Reserve picks, not picks, doesn't matter. They're kind of like the highlight of this. This is like the pinnacle of what you can do for $60 in bourbon, kind of. 50, $60, depending on where you're at. But with that being said, where kind of the Elytra Craig was more of like a chocolate peanut butter going on, this is more of like a cherry pie, um, addition like creamy like marshmallow whipped cherry pie and then you're smoking a cigar so it brings that like those dark tobacco -y flavors into it and just makes it an all-encompassing experience and it doesn't overpower it like none of these overpower it whatsoever i've had experiences where i've taken like scotches i have a smoked single malt over there i have a cash drink single malt um, that's not smoked, just completely overpowered it. But these bourbons go really well and they don't overpower any of it. So that's my list of whiskeys I pair with my cigars or the whiskeys I gravitate towards when I'm outside smoking a cigar. Please let me know down below 
What did you guys think about my list? Do you have any other pairing suggestions? I'm sure there's a thousand different ones and there's probably ones that go really well with a specific cigar. I'm just not the most knowledgeable on behalf of any of that. So I don't really wanna to get too far in the weeds with this. These are just five that are just generally fantastic with almost any cigar I gravitate towards. Also check out the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Patreon. The links for all that stuff are down there below. Cheers y'all. I'll see you later.